In an earlier lesson, we examined some strategies to consider when tackling geometry questions. In this lesson, we will review those strategies and then suggest some additional strategies. First, it's usually a good idea to sketch given geometric figures on your noteboard. Then, be sure to add all information provided in the question. At that point, if you are unsure how to proceed with the question, begin adding any information that can be deduced from the given information. Doing so may eventually provide some insight into the solution. Also consider adding and extending lines, as this sometimes helps identify figures within a diagram. For unknown angles or lengths, try assigning variables and then using various properties to write equations. Now, if a problem-solving question features a diagram drawn to scale, consider estimating angles, lengths, and areas to help confirm your calculations or to help guide your guesses. Next, for questions involving more than one triangle, where you must find the length of one side, look for similar triangles that have all three angles in common. If a question involves a right triangle, consider using the Pythagorean theorem to relate the three sides, and also be on the lookout for Pythagorean triples, as well as special triangles to help you avoid lengthy calculations. For questions involving circles, you may be able to apply one or more of the circle properties, so watch out for inscribed angles, central angles, and tangent lines. Also, since the radii of a circle are always the same length, be sure to look out for isosceles triangles hiding within the figure. Okay, that concludes some of the strategies you should consider when tackling geometry questions. Now it's time to practice these strategies.